Still got honey in it. That's oh, ignore the labels. Should probably not show those. Uh, those are just the we just reuse bottles. Uh, and then this is a lemon lavender saison. Uh, both of these were brewed all grain, right? Yeah, all grain brewed in a bag, I believe. This was brewed in a bag. This. One. Well, that was that was. This was just regular all, all grain. grain yeah. All right, let's pour it. There you go. See, it's a nice dark. dark porter, but it's not as an extreme in flavor as a lot of porters. As far as porters go, it's, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's a good, good porter if you're getting started with porters, probably. If you really like your porters, you know, like English style or real heavy, might be a little light for you, but it is pretty high in alcohol. Now this, this one foams like crazy. Pretty foamy. That is an entire glass of foam. <laughs> well, I'm going to let that sell. We'll talk about this one. All right, there we go. So we brewed this uh, just to, to just a quick little brew, nothing crazy. Two weeks, uh, and then we let it ferment, secondary ferment the bottle for about three weeks, and there you go. Nice pitch black. It's good looking for beer. Just a little bit of hops. Because of the honey, it's drier than you think. And uh, higher alcohol. Because the honey almost completely gets eaten by the yeast. So it can uh, smooth things out. If you add a ton of honey, it can have like a floral flavor, but I don't know if there's enough for that. It's more of it adds alcohol, makes it a little more, a little lighter, a little more friendly. Pretty good. Good beer. It's a solid, uh, well. solid, uh, good, good one. Okay, this, this one is uh, ultra foamy. We yeah. keg part of this, and it wasn't quite as foamy in the keg, actually. I, I believe I did the math right. No, it's pretty foamy in the keg. This style is supposed to be a little more carbonated. I should have been a little more careful in the pour, maybe. I'm going to get a, a, another glass because that is not the. Oh, wait. There we go. Here's a cocktail glass. Try it again. Oh, uh, it's just massively foamy. Yes. This kind of beer that's <laughs> this funny is kind of hard to drink. Yeah, it's like dealing with a Guinness. You gotta wait forever for it to settle down. So I've heard uh, it's polite to not order a bunch of Guinnesses all together because it can take forever. Uh -oh. You have that problem with brewing some fun people. But the extra carbonation. Really does match the style. It's, it's a very, this is a saison. It's a very dry beer, and it's got a lemon and lavender in it. A lot of strong flavors, and uh, not a ton of body. I think low-bodied beers when you don't have enough carbonation, it kind of tastes flat. I I would call this kind of a summer beer. Yeah. I personally am not a big flat fan of the lavender. The lemon. <clears throat> Traditionally, saisons, you know, they usually put, they put a 
maybe some raspberry or fruitier flavor in it. Yeah, very yeah. I'm just not. The lemon is <laughs> fine. You like lavender? It's a good beer for you. Surprisingly, you would think lavender would take over the smell as a as use as it's, a scent, but can't smell it. Not no, not taste. really at all. But man, it's in the flavor. Yeah. There you go. We made two beers. <laughs> and we have there are more in the works. So uh, as well as some mead, keep, maybe keep some watching. cigar reviews. Yeah. So uh, come back now. You hear? Yeah. <laughs>